There is a dizzying array of mustard types at the supermarket, and today Jack's going to walk me through all of them. Yeah, so I hope you're ready to do a lot of tasting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you're basically going to tell me what you're tasting in each one of these. So these are all favorite mustards from our tastings, but we really wanted to explain to folks what mustard for what occasion. So we're going to start with the simple stuff first. Mm -hmm. I bet you know what that is. Oh, this goes on hot dogs, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, so that is yellow mustard. So the big thing is all mustards made mm. with the same four ingredients, mustard seed, vinegar, water, and salt. But you get very different results. So first thing is yellow mustard seeds versus brown. Big surprise, yellow mustard is made with yellow mustard seeds. <laughs> Which are very mild. This is a almost lemony, sort of buttery mustard. Right, so next up, this is brown mustard made with brown mustard seeds, which are much spicier. And not only are they hotter, the heat tends to go into your nose mm. more. But it has a deeper flavor. Yeah, no, so there's vinegar is the first ingredient here. So it's really mm. kind of briny and acidic and zingy. Yeah. Great with sausages, yeah. right? Cut yes. through all of that fat. So Dijon mustard mm -hmm. is also made with brown mustard seeds, mm -hmm. but it is sieved. So you don't see any of the little flecks of brown in mm. it. So it's got the heat. And in this case, mustard is the first ingredient. Yeah. And so it is mustard forward with less vinegar because the vinegar is a preservative, mm. but more vinegar at some point can diminish the reaction that causes the heat. And so if you have a super acidic mustard, it's often a mild mustard. Now, two coarse mustards that are really different from each other. Yeah. Uh, so this one is spreadable, right? So mm -hmm. it's basically got cracked seeds in a base mm. of creamy mustard. Mm. This is great on a sandwich. That would taste so good on a cracker with a little bit of cheese. It's lovely, buttery. Oh, you're having you're having too much yeah, fun today. Yeah, I know. Surprise. So this is whole seeds. They almost Ooh. give a, like a pop. We felt this was great in a vinaigrette, in a butter sauce mm -hmm. over seafood. It's almost like caviar, how it bursts in your mouth. That's delicious. It's really, really good. Mm. And we're going to end with some sweet stuff. OK. Now. I bet you can imagine the two <laughs> use cases for, for these honey mustards, right? Yep, that's for dipping chicken nuggets, and that is for uh, a ham sandwich. I thought it was a little less complex, uh, not necessarily in a bad way, mm -hmm. but just totally spot on classic. This, mm -hmm. I, I wanna, I'm curious what you're gonna think. Oh, it looks like caramel. Yeah, now, so we can't, couldn't tell, is it because of the sugars um, and the honey, <laughs> or is it because it's made with mustard flour? Interesting. Rather than, you know, mustard seed. What are you tasting with this one? I like it. It tastes garlic. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It tastes like it's a ready-made sauce. Yeah, this Ooh. is really meant for, for dipping. I also felt like it had more butterscotch, molasses mm. notes to it, along with the honey notes, and it just was really interesting and complex, and felt like Ooh. it was too sticky to put on a sandwich. I'm not sure how you'd spread it on bread. <laughs> Perfect for dipping, though. Yeah, so I'm gonna end, since they're all winners, mm. there are no favorites, but I'm gonna ask you, we're going to a desert island, or you're going to a desert island, mm. and you get to take one mustard fruit with you for the rest of your life. The rest of my life. Wow. Yeah, I know which one I'm taking. I'm taking this guy, because I can eat him straight. It's like caviar to me. I really could just enjoy that on its own on a cracker. All right, I'm taking the Dijon mustard, so that means we need separate desert islands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wave to you. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Julia. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>